Dogs, cats, rabbits, hamsters, birds, and fish. These are just some of the animal co-inhabitants that many of us have come to know as our friends and companions. On our series, Caring for Animal Companions, we'll hear heartwarming stories, tips, and advice from Supreme Master Ching Hai and our association members from around the world about their animal friends. We will travel the globe today to meet some birds, cats, and dogs and see how they enjoy their delicious vegan meals prepared by their loving human caregivers. What types of food are best for our companions? For the health and well-being of our beloved pets, it is important that we offer them only the freshest, finest vegetarian or vegan foods. Providing them with a wide array of plant-based foods increases their overall health and vitality while decreasing the incidence of cancer, allergies, and even fleas. So let's have a look at vegan cuisine for animal companions from around the world. We start our journey in New Jersey, USA, where we'll learn about the foods enjoyed by some beautiful vegan Bork parakeets. First, birds like humans need variety. Even though bird seed is vegan and birds have a quick metabolism, seeds have a lot of oil and too much fat in the diet will lead to health problems. So along with a good seed, which you can find in many stores, um, and what you need to do is to check for, for a good seed mix, a really important part of the bird's diet, just like it is for humans, is fruits and vegetables. And fresh ones every day is, is optimal. So um, what we have here are some cucumbers, some broccoli, lettuce, and cauliflower or you can chop it up uh, more finely even than that to make it um, smaller and more manageable for the birds. The other things that you can also do to supplement the birds diet is uh, are things like products like this which are a grass product actually it's a wheat grass. Um, you fill this with a hot water and then you add these uh, seeds and in several days what you will have is a very lush green set of grass growing up out of this cup which will be replenished up to three times if you cut it. Um, this is a lot of chlorophyll and vitamins uh, for the bird. This is a hot cereal, a cooked cereal mix. Um, it has all grain and vegetable ingredients. Um, and there's nothing else in here except the cereal. But for example, this one has everything from basmati rice to rolled oats, pearled barley, coconut, raisins, cracked corn, dried apples, um, and the birds that I've had, they absolutely love cereal like this. And it's, this is also very nutritious because it's a carbohydrate grain rather than um, so much of the fats that you get in the seeds with the oil. Um, one other treat that's also kind of nice is a fruit and veggie mix that you can put on top of seed. Uh, this is an entirely fruit and vegetable combination. And one other thing that you can do is, uh, this is a puffed cereal mix. Here's a package of the puffed rice, and there's puffed wheat, puffed millet, and you can mix them all together and then put them into, um, again, a seed cup. This is called millet spray. This is something that many of the birds would find naturally in the wild to be able to eat for themselves. So have fun and bon appetit for your feathered friends. Those Bork parakeets certainly appear to enjoy their feast of nutritious plant-based foods. When Animal World, our co-inhabitants, returns, we'll see how a vegetarian cat in Africa loves her tofu. Please keep your dial tuned here to Supreme Master Television. We'll be right back after these brief messages. Welcome back to Animal World, our co-inhabitants, as we learn how animal companions around the world enjoy healthy, delicious vegan foods. Our next stop is Douala, Cameroon in Africa, where we visit Mimi, the vegetarian cat. Her human caregiver will show us how he prepares a special, nutritious hot meal for his beloved feline friend. Mimi is very poly, loyal and disciplined. Mimi est aussi végétarien et apprécie beaucoup nos délicieux repas végétariens camerounais que je prépare personnellement pour elle. 
le tofu mariné est l'un de ses plats préférés. Je mets l'huile dans la poêle. Je vais assaisonner le tofu avec un peu de sel. Comme ça. Comme ça. Je l'assaisonne comme ça. J'y ajoute un peu de l'eau. Maintenant que le tofu est prêt, il a changé de couleur, il est doré. Je vais ajouter la tomate. J'ajoute également le céleri. Je tourne comme ça. Ce repas sera prêt dans 3 à 4 minutes. Voilà. Voilà le repas de Mimi. Voici son repas qui est prêt. Elle va le manger avec de la mie du pain. Avec un peu de pain que je coupe en petits petits morceaux. Voilà. Ce qui est formidable avec Mimi, c'est que si tu places un morceau de viande là, Mimi ne va pas la manger. Il est dit que les chats sont supposés être des carnivores. Et si un carnivore inné comme Mimi peut devenir végétarien et y demeurer, combien de fois nous, dont il n'y a pas d'excuse de ne pas adopter le régime végétarien ou végétalien Mimi. That tofu dish looked delectable and Mimi sure enjoyed every bit of it. Good girl. Let's go to Taipei, Formosa, or Taiwan, where we'll join famous Formosan or Taiwanese actress and singer Carmen Tang and our association member to prepare a special vegan dish for the adorable Siberian husky, Snow, and her best friend, Angel. We are going to make the good luck rainbow dumplings. First, we need dumpling pastry, Corns, veggie hams, purple cabbage, tomatoes, green beans, and a little bit of water and corn powder as well. Yes. Let's start from the stuffing. Okay, stuffing. So we need veggie hams and yes. corns as well. Okay, so we chop it into cubes. Cubes are important for uh, dogs to eat. It's easier for them to swallow and digestion as well. Yes, it's yeah, very it's important. very important. Yes. All right. Here's what we have already prepared: chopped veggie hams. So now we're going to do the corns. Okay. Okay. So this is also prepared: chopped corns. But we had, we need to leave out a little bit few for decoration later. Yes. Yeah. For the dumplings as well. Okay. Yes. So we move on to decorative materials. We also have to chop those into pieces as well. First, we start with purple cabbage. Prepared chopped purple cabbage, and now move on to tomatoes. Yes. Okay. Let's peel the leaves out as well. Yes. Thank you prepared tomatoes and then we move on to our last material, green beans. Okay, this is our prepared green beans chopped already. First, let's move on to our stuffings then. What do we need? I need a veggie ham. Veggie ham, okay. 
for dating. Okay. Corns. Oh, and corns. And of course. Okay. Wow. Right. And that. A comb powder as well, a little bit? Yes. Oh, right. So it becomes like sticky, right? So you can blend it all together. Yes. Cool. Oh, I think it's fine. Yes. So what do we do next? This. Oh, yeah, we'll put it in the pastry. Yes. Okay. Water. Water. Okay, we need water. Okay. Yeah, and the mixture. All right. So we fill it in. This is our main course, you know. Okay, a little bit of water to make it sticky. She used her fingers to fold the edge of the pastry. Make it like a flower. That's yes. so cute. Okay, so what do we do next? I'll put it in the decorative. A little. Okay, yes, a little. on it a little bit. Put the cabbage, of course. A little bit tomato. Okay, green beans next. Wow, red, yellow, green, purple. It's like a flower with colorful petals. It's an oil spray you spray on the plate. So when you bake um, the dumplings, it won't stuck on the plate. Now it's ready to put it into the oven. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. In what temperature? 160. 160. And for how long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. Yeah. So why don't we go and wake up Snow? Let's go. Whoa! Whoa dumpling is ready. Let's yes. take them out. See what happens. Well, it smells so nice. Ooh. So beautiful. So and we also invite Snow's best friend, Angel, and her caretaker to have the dinner with us. Let's welcome them. Hello, Angel. She's so big! Aren't you, pretty girl? That looks like a vegan feast fit for royalty. Snow and Angel are no doubt princesses of their human companions. Supreme Master Ching Hai, author of three international number one best-selling books, The Birds in My Life, The Dogs in My Life, and The Noble Wilds, has a large family of adopted animals which includes 23 birds and 10 dogs. In order to maintain their health, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly prepares for her animal companions well-balanced and nutritious vegan meals. In the wild, parrots are pure vegans, eating only the bountiful harvest of fruits and seeds provided by Mother Nature. However, some of Supreme Master Ching Hai's parrots originally lived with humans who did not understand this and fed them meat. After adopting them, Supreme Master Ching Hai restored their health and happiness with extra love and provision of their proper vegan dietary needs. In a gathering with our association members in Florida, USA, Supreme Master Ching Hai describes how Sunny, a blue and gold macaw, readapted to a vegan diet wonderfully. He's a very beautiful guy, yeah! And I'm very proud of you, yeah! Very proud. Yes. He learned good. He's nice. Yeah, that means he's happy. He heard that. He knows that. When they pop the feather up like that, happy, happy. <laughs> yes. Yes. I see all the brothers and sisters, how they love you. We are all beautiful people, just like you are. Mm -hmm. And he adjusts well to vegetarian, no problem. He eats anything I give, anytime. If I just bring a piece of mango, he. <laughs> yeah, so cute. I bring just a piece of vegetable, you know, boy vegetable, I give him different food. Now he love our, you know, beef jerky, you know, the, the vegetarian one. He loves, he loves apple, he loves cucumber, he loves boy vegetable. 
Yeah, everything. <laughs> And he has his own food too, you know. So he has both human and bird food. And he loves everything I feed him. He's a good boy, good, good boy. With wholesome vegetarian diets, our animal companions will develop vibrant coats or feathers, be strong and muscular, and maintain healthy body weights. May all animal friends have the opportunity to enjoy the benefits of fresh, nutritious vegan food. Thank you for joining us today for our series, Caring for Animal Companions on Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants. Up next is enlightening entertainment right after noteworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. Blessed be all beings to live in harmony and happiness. <laughs>